Question, the member from Halton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Energy and Infrastructure. Minister, for months you have told me that the uh, people of Halton, that our hospital is delayed because of a lack of capacity. You've consistently said that there are not enough bidders to ensure a competitive procurement process. Yet it appears to me that you are simply assuming this. It appears to me that you have not even begun the request for qualifications process. Minister, if you have not sought applications or even surveyed the possible bidders, how on earth can you say that there's a shortfall in capacity? No, well, thank you very much, Mr. Sir, well, on this uh, point about the uh, survey of actual bidders is where the honourable member is, uh, is uh, in fact, uh, he's thinking in the right direction, Mr. Speaker. Through the work of Infrastructure Ontario, which is managing the development of the large-scale projects, 19 of which are currently under construction in the province of Ontario, we have been working with those large general contractors, which are relatively small in number, to coordinate the bringing to life of new projects in a fashion that is timely and in, within their capabilities. So, indeed, the resequencing on the Oakville Hospital and the hospital in Markham were related to a sophisticated conversation about general construction capability with those very same companies. In a recent meeting with the chair of Halton Region, I made that commitment, as I've made uh, in the presence of uh, my uh, friend and colleague Kevin Flynn in Oakville, that it's our effort with the Oakville community to move forward as fast as possible the initiation of construction related to that project, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Entry. Minister, we're talking about the health of my constituents here. So the only answer I'm prepared to accept right now is that we will begin the process in Oakville immediately. Here, here. Since 2004, in Peel, to the east of Halton, there have been over a billion dollars invested in health care infrastructure. The Trillium Hospital and Credit Valley Hospital both have been expanded. And just like the hospitals to the west of us, in, Oak in Hamilton, they were, where all three Hamilton hospitals have been expanded, Minister, in Halton, there's a dearth of expansion. It's surrounded by new expanding hospitals in Halton, which is the fastest growing community in Canada, in the whole country, and yet your government hasn't spent one red cent in expansion in either Oakville or Milton. Minister, what's wrong with the people of Halton? Why don't they deserve the same health care as other people in Ontario? Why don't you start the RFQ process to get the hospital started at this time? Here, here, excellent. Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, firstly, uh, what the honourable member is not in a good position to do in any of these fronts is to talk about any investments that, through the eight years that he was a privileged member of a caucus, occurred. And, Mr. Speaker, it's very, very important that the. Uh, Oh, oh, now, Mr. Speaker. Just ask the honourable member from Halton to withdraw the comment, please. I, I can't withdraw that, Minister. Not if he's not going to stand in front of this house. I just, just ask the honourable member to withdraw the comment, please. Withdraw that as long as he will not start that process. The people of Oakville deserve a new hospital. For the third time, I'll ask the honourable member to withdraw the comment. You should, you should build. Will the honourable member withdraw the comment? Do I still get to have uh, no other recourse then but to name the member Ted Chudley from Halton?